The electronic data questionnaire asks you what data do you have and what format is it? Is it on a mainframe server? Is it on smaller servers? Is it on laptops? Is it on mobile devices? audio, videos, what kinds of files are they? Are they Microsoft type files? Are they databases? What are we talking about? Instant messages. What are the numbers of people that are the key actors in here? You might have five or six key, what they call custodians. So you'd need to focus firstly on say their mail inboxes and then work from there and see if you need to look at anybody else's. Um, so you get this idea of the digital landscape that is there. Now, the lawyers can't do this. So the practice direction very strongly encourages uh, parties to get technical assistance, uh, and we would normally recommend that that should be from an independent type of technical support um, because your internal people may not have the right level of experience and uh, they may also you know, have some internal pressure or so on. So if you want to have a good sort of chain of custody, if you have somebody independent coming in, then you can show the court that everything has been handled properly. And the, the beginning of that is this questionnaire. Um, somebody eventually has to sign that under oath. <laughs> Um, or at least what's called a statement of truth, which means that if you say things that are untrue in there, you could actually be subject to a criminal penalty. Um, I mentioned before about it being a pilot scheme, so it does not apply compulsorily to most cases in the court, but the court can find a case and say, even though it's not in the commercial list where the pilot scheme is, we'll apply it to there, or anyone who's in the court who thinks they want a framework um, can use it. So what that means, which is relevant to everyone, is that any company in Hong Kong today could tomorrow be involved in e-discovery, whether they like it or not.